Here we are, day 21, three weeks into our little hatching experiment here at home, and we are ready to candle the eggs again. I have labeled all of the eggs um, A through I, so we can keep track. Um, I'm using this chart um, with the letters of the alphabet. So A, B, and C are the khaki Campbells, D, E, and F are the silver apple yards, and G, H, and I are the geese. So we have three of each, and we're going to turn off the lights, and we're going to candle and see what's growing. So I'm going to start with A, which is a khaki Campbell. Turn off the lights. Thank you, Carter. So it's very, very dark. Can't see much, which is a good sign. Let's check out the top. We're looking for movement in there. Oh, I saw some movement. Mama, you have me. I saw a little bit of movement in there. So towards the top here is the air bubble. When you just kind of watch around there, you can see right on the edge of the air bubble there, um, there's a little bit of movement. They should be starting to put their beak up towards that air bubble at the top right now. So I did see some movement in there. So that one, A, is Mama, doing good. Mama, can you pick me up? I'm just take an eye, keep an eye out from there. Okay, so you can see a little bit at the bottom. Oh, and you can see them moving at the bottom if you look closely right there. Now let's check it out from the top and see. Oh, you can see it moving around in there. He's really moving in there. Mommy, give me a Do you see that, Carter? Do you see him moving? Yeah, give me a peek. Look at he's really moving around in there. Yeah, give me, give me, get me. That's great. So B is moving. I'm going to try and come down to your level, bud. Okay. This is C. This is the other khaki Campbell. We don't see anything from the bottom, so there's not much. It's taking up a lot more room in there. Let's check it out from the top. There's the air bubble at the top. Oh, I saw them moving. It's a little bit harder to see them moving now. you got to kind of watch that line. You can kind of see the line moving. A little trickier to see the bigger they get and the more space they take up in there but if you look closely at the line you see that shadow moving you know that they're moving around in there I definitely saw some movement I know it's hard but tricky to see but so far A, B, and C are still growing I can't pick you up okay. there you go bud now you can see too so that's the bottom. It's a little trickier to see from the bottom because they're taking up so much space. So now let's look from the top. You gotta Mommy, put your hands down. Mommy, I'll do it this time. Okay, we're I'll looking, hold the light. We're looking for the movement. Mommy, can I use your your hand hand down. Oh, oh, look at he's moving around. Mm. Did you see that? Mama, I want to. I'll do the report. Mommy, I'll do the report. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Mama, you'll see the news. Okay, so that was another silver apple yard. That was D. That's also doing a lot of moving. Here we are with E, another silver apple yard. We're going to shine at the bottom first. Okay, Carter's going to do the top. You put it on the top for us. I would, I would do um, this. I would do the bottom or the top. You will hold the egg. Okay. So you got to move your hand, buddy, because people can't see. Your hand is right in the way. Can you put your hand down? But mama. Okay, I'll put my hand down. But your hand is right in the way, buddy. Okay, we're looking for movement. Oop. Okay, there's honey, you're putting your head right in there. You see that big air bubble at the top? That's the big clear spot at the top. And we're looking for 
the shadow inside there moving. Can you see it on that side moving? Mm -hmm. You see it on this side, so I'll turn it this way. Can you see that? Wow. There he is moving, saying, get that light out of my eyes. Okay, that was E. We got movement, so we've got our last duck egg, the last silver appliard. This is F. We'll go right to the top. Oh, that one you can see. Look at how much he's moving. Wow, this one's a really active one. It's doing a lot of moving in there. He's really moving around in there. Carter, look at him moving. He's saying, I can't wait to come out and meet you. Look at him. We're here for you. We're here. Remember that book we read where it said the mommies talk to the babies? Alright, we're moving on to the goose eggs. This is G. This is the China goose. There from the bottom. Oh, I already saw movement on the bottom. You can see it's taking up space. And here we go. Oh, he's moving in there. Look at that. Okay, here we are with H, it's another goose egg. So far, everything's still alive and growing, moving. Let's see in this one. We're looking for that movement. I'm not seeing movement with this one, let's see. We're going to keep it in because it's definitely taking up more space in there, but I haven't seen any movement, so. Oh, 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 I think I saw some movement on the side there. Right over here, I think I saw some movement. All right, that was H. So H is the one we're questioning a little bit, and this is I. Last one. That's the bottom. Try to turn, keep the light off, please. And we're looking for movement in there. I think the geese are a little sleepy today. Oh, I saw some movement in there. Not quite as active as those silver appliards were. But definitely some movement in there. Oh, there we go. Can you see it moving around? I know. All right. So the only one we kind of were questioning was H. We weren't sure about H. So I'm going to put a question mark next to H on here. But everything else we saw movement. It looked good. Um, we're going to candle again probably on day 25 or 26. So a couple days from now. Because um, we want to see that they're getting ready. And... By day 26, we should be able to maybe start to hear some of the peeps as their beaks are getting up towards that air sac. Um, they should start to make little noises. So thanks.